What's the trajectory here, sir? Because you, uh, you know, I'm sure you all are thinking long term, not just the five years you're going to sit in the government. You might be on these projects that you are initiating, like the port cities, like the 30 or 40 or 50 year, uh, year investment. Uh, you know, trying to make sure that we create the market in Sri Lanka and Sri Lanka to get a name as an investment hub, like like Singapore or Dubai. Now, what is the trajectory here? Because the picture that we are painting to the world or the world investor is not not uh, uh, you know confident for them uh, in order to come and uh, put their money here to be very frank i must say that uh, situation is not what is on the ground i have had discussions with several investors from all over the world in the recent past and they do recognize yes there is a difficulty at the right now but many of them who are investing big time dollars are looking at the long term. They see Sri Lanka as having tremendous potential. They realize that Sri Lanka would not be a stagnant economy. They were used to nearly 8% growth at the time that we were in office the last time. So they believe that we are on target to do this. But they also recognize that there are some times when you do have a difficult patch and you got to ride through that. So my understanding from my discussions with so many people is that yes, we do have some tension right now, but many of the key investors are not looking at the next three months. They're looking at three years, 10 years ahead. <coughs> now, if that is the case, we would see plenty of investment coming in. And I'm confident that that would happen and that would occur on several uh, fronts. One is the Hambantota port, mm. the Hambantota industrial zone, the pharmaceutical zone, then the port city. All these are potential recipients of investment. It's how we market it, how we have the laws put in place, how we ensure that people who come here don't have to rustify hanging outside the various corridors waiting for approvals. So if we get our act together, Mahesh, I'm confident that there'll be plenty of people who will want to invest with us, notwithstanding all what's happening in the rest of the world.